A fresh drone strike has reportedly targeted Alpha independent camps in Myanmar earlier today, marking the third such attack in a short span. The stranded British Royal Navy F-35B stealth fighter that made an emergency landing in India last month, is undergoing classified repairs under tight British control at the fully sealed Air India Hangar 2. Greek Navy's Hydra-class frigate has made its maiden port call at Mumbai, marking a significant step in strengthening Indo-Greek naval cooperation and maritime ties. Pakistan has formally offered its Haider main battle tank to Bangladesh Army, which is a locally adapted variant of the Chinese VT-4 main battle tank, which failed to navigate a slope during a military exercise. China and Pakistan are developing high-altitude swarm drones flying above 10,000 feet, to bypass India's air defense guns like the L-70, forcing India to rely on expensive missile systems, and leaving critical air defenses vulnerable to subsequent cruise and ballistic missile attacks. National Aerospace Laboratories has onboarded 54 vendors for collaborative research manufacturing and eventual commercialization of an indigenous 150 kg class loitering munition UAV that has a range of 1,000 km. The DRDO has initiated a process to indigenize 30 mm ammunition used in naval support guns, that will incorporate corrosion-resistant materials and specialized specifications tailored for maritime operations. The Jorawa light tank will feature the Israeli-made Trophy Active Protection System in its first batch of 59 units, that will be locally customized and produced by Larson and Tubro, as DRDO's own active protection system remains under development. The DRDO is developing next-generation ramjet-powered smart ammunition that will be ready by 2027, which will extend the strike range of the ATAGs to over 80 km. Defense Minister Rajnath Singh has said, that after proving its capability in May 2025 conflict with Pakistan, more than a dozen countries have expressed interest in procuring the BrahMos missile system from India. The RDO's Central Research Center has launched a key vendor engagement program, to advance resin film infusion composite fabrication and bolted joint testing, for next-generation combat airframes for stealthy platforms like AMCA and Gata unmanned combat aerial vehicle. India's Ministry of Defence plans to procure 65th-generation fighter jets as an interim capability, and reports indicate that the MRFA program is expected to shift to a government-to-government -government model, and potentially split between 60 Rafale F-4 with partial assembly in India, and 65th-gen fighter jets from a close ally. This dual-track approach aims to bridge capability gaps until AMCA is delivered in 2035, and also helps the Indian Air Force gain experience with fifth-generation fighters. In a big boost to India's AMCA program, Japan has offered its powerful XF91 engine for co-development and local production. The RDO's gas turbine research establishment has been invited to review the engine, which produces up to 147 kN thrust, and features thrust vectoring, high electrical output and stealth optimized design. However, Japan's deeper involvement in the sixth-generation global combat air program with the UK and Italy, raises questions about its commitment to AMCA's long-term needs. Safran and Rolls-Royce have both offered full technology transfer and intellectual property rights of a variable cycle engine, and India aims to close the $5 billion engine deal by December 2025. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, my God.